This is why a lot of people don't take people on the right extremely serious. Now, this is kind of coming from somebody that leans a little bit more towards the right. Apparently, anime can cause you to be transgender, and that is an actual statement people are trying to make. Ollie London, a grifter in their own right, had this tweet. Montana transgender rep Zoe Zephyr exposed for a shocking past. Quote from Zephyr, This is my ideal relationship with a man, one where I'm riding him and also ready to end his life. Close quote. The old tweet was accompanied with a Lolita anime cartoon, typically a form of sexual anime where minors are depicting engaging intercourse. Well, first saw the biggest problem, that's not a anime. It's anime inspired, but it's Genshin Impact. That's a video game, all right? So one deduction on that. Secondly, they're both adult characters. Ah, uh, another duck. And I'm not even a Genshin Impact fan, right? And I think sometimes we can over-sexualize a lot of things in media. But if you're gonna make some statements, at least have it based in reality. And one of the interesting replies, right underneath it, reference underscore info, Cody, 95% of trans activists on Twitter have anime profile pictures. There has to be a direct correlation. Maybe Matt Walsh was right about anime being demonic. Okay, so yeah, I guess we're at this point in the fucking timeline. I'm not a massive anime fan. Grew up watching Dragon Ball Z, Bleach, Naruto. I've watched a few anime, but it's not a medium I continually go back to. If I'm recommended a good one, I'll check it out, but I'm definitely not heavy into that culture. But to make the claim that because you enjoy anime, you are more prone to being trans is absolutely ridiculous. That's anecdotal evidence that you cannot back up with statistical evidence. Yes, that is something you have probably seen on Twitter, but I'll be blunt. I've seen a lot of people on the far right use anime characters as well. So if you watch anime, you're going to be far right or transgender. There's no in between. Just absolutely ridiculous. You cannot demonize a genre of entertainment because you think it's the big old boogeyman. And I also have to correct these idiots again. Matt Walsh, the guy that he is referencing about anime being satanic, was joking when he said that. Matt Walsh wasn't being serious. It's like, woo, right over your head. Did you watch the video he made on it himself? Actually, let's just get it right from the horse's mouth. What did Matt Walsh actually say? Pretending that you've never articulated an edgy or weird opinion, maybe seriously, maybe as a joke, maybe as some mixture of the two. Are you pretending that you don't understand these methods of human communication that are utterly commonplace and a feature of nearly every conversation you've ever had in your life? Yeah, you look pretty dumb. Didn't even look into what Matt Walsh said and how he was being hyperbolic and sarcastic. He is a deadpan humor type of person. And I just, I'm surprised more people didn't pick up on it. It was kind of funny when that became a big story months ago. My opinion, is anime turning people into transgender? Is it demonic? No, it is just what people enjoy. And when something becomes more popular and mainstream, yes, people from all different groups and categories and whatever are going to enjoy it. So maybe there will be more quote unquote transgender, Maybe they'll be quote unquote more far right people because the art form itself is getting bigger, not because it's causing people to become far left or far right. I don't know. Correlation doesn't always mean causation. Thought this was a bit goofy and kind of funny, not gonna lie. So I would be interested to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Is anime turning you into a Satanist? I think that'd be interesting comment section. I'll see you in the next one. Jesus. <laughs>